Imagine a universe teeming with billions of stars, trillions of planets, yet a deafening silence prevails. This is the conundrum we face when we look up at the night sky and wonder about our place in the cosmos. This enigma is known as the Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. The paradox revolves around a contradiction that has puzzled scientists for decades. On one hand, we have high probability estimates for the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. With countless stars like our sun, many hosting planets, it seems likely that life, perhaps even intelligent life, should exist somewhere out there. On the other hand, we have yet to find any evidence of such civilizations. No signals, no messages, no signs of cosmic engineering. There's an eerie quiet that permeates the universe. A silence that seems to contradict the numbers. This leads us to Fermi's poignant question. <coughs> Where is everybody? The Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, poses a significant contradiction. This paradox dwells on a simple yet profound question. If the universe is teeming with stars and planets, why haven't we encountered any signs of extraterrestrial life? To understand the paradox, let's take a quick look at the Drake Equation, a mathematical formula that estimates the potential number of extraterrestrial civilizations in our galaxy. The equation, formulated by Frank Drake in the early 1960s, considers various factors such as the rate of star formation, the fraction of stars with planetary systems, and the number of planets that could potentially support life. Using Drake's equation, one could argue that there should be a high probability of intelligent life existing somewhere in the cosmos, yet we are confronted by a profound silence so, if life should be abundant in the universe, why haven't we found any signs of it? Various theories attempt to explain this paradox. Let's delve into some of the most popular ones. First up, the self-destruction theory. It suggests that civilizations may inevitably destroy themselves before reaching a point where they can communicate with others in the cosmos. This could be due to war, ecological disaster, or a technological catastrophe. Like a cosmic Icarus, they fly too close to the technological sun and perish. Next, we have the zoo hypothesis. Rather than us being alone in the universe, it suggests that we are being watched. Like ants in a cosmic anthill, we might be under the surveillance of advanced civilizations who have chosen not to interfere with us. A bit eerie, isn't it? Then there's the rare earth hypothesis. This theory posits that the conditions necessary for intelligent life are incredibly rare in the universe. The perfect cocktail of factors that led to life on Earth might be an astronomical anomaly, making us the cosmic equivalent of a winning lottery ticket. However, these theories, despite being intriguing, don't provide a definitive answer. They are conjectures, thought experiments, and philosophical musings. They offer possibilities, not certainties. The universe, in all its vast and silent majesty, keeps its secrets well guarded. As we continue to gaze at the stars and send out signals, the question posed by Fermi remains as puzzling as ever. Where is everybody? Despite the enigma, our quest for understanding continues. Our fascination with the cosmos and the possibility of extraterrestrial life has led to the establishment of organizations like SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This global initiative continues to scan the cosmos using advanced technologies to explore the vast star-studded skies. Our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. We've come a long way from peering through simple telescopes to using advanced tools like radio telescopes and space probes. We've sent messages into the cosmos, hoping for a response from the depths of the universe. And with each passing day, our technologies are becoming more sophisticated, our methods more refined. As we grapple with the Fermi Paradox, we are continually expanding our search parameters. We're not just looking for radio signals anymore. We're also searching for signs of life in the atmospheres of distant exoplanets or even in the cosmic dust that fills the space between stars. We're diving deeper into the cosmic forest, trying to find the elusive trees in the dense foliage. We're learning more about our own place in the cosmos, and with each discovery, we're getting closer to answering Fermi's question. Where is everybody? As we continue our cosmic exploration, one thing is certain. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unlocked.